So joining us right now is Roger uh, Montefort. He's uh, Ford Capital Group's CEO. Good morning to you. Um, morning, I'm so Andrew. curious what you think of this company. I know you were an early investor. Uh, you're not one now, but somebody who understands and has studied the company. We had a conversation uh, with Jim Cramer about this company uh, yesterday. Uh, I respect Jim a lot, but uh, we're probably on other sides of this. He, he thinks this is not uh, a long-term great company. I look at it and think about all the things that they've done uh, frankly, to help uh, protect the U.S. from terrorism and, and clearly where it's gone in terms of the corporate space. I'm curious where you land and how you think about both the value of the overall company in terms of what it does, but then as a stock as well. Sure. Uh, well, thanks for having me. I, um, you know, I'll say this. I mean, first, I'd like to at least just run through some of the numbers because, again, I'm, I'm with you. I respect Jim. I like him a lot. Um, but I think some of the comments that he made uh, were actually irresponsible when you really look at it. Um, you know, they did 1.9 billion in revenue last year. They guided to over 2.2 billion in revenue this year. Um, they become gap profitable uh, last quarter. They they're going to be gap profitable for the full year of 23. Um, they have free cash flow of over 550 million dollars uh, over the last eight quarters, uh, and you're looking at 2.6 billion dollars in cash in the bank. So to classify this company as not being real, uh, I think is is just uh, is ludicrous. Uh, I mean, they're they're every bit real, uh, you know. And if you ask the U.S. Army, or ask the Ukraine, or ask uh, you know the folks at the CDC, or you know different governments from around the world, if Palantir is real, uh, I think they'll unequivocally say that they are real. So, you so know, I think it's. I you, you, own, yeah. you own shares in this company personally. I know your, your fund was yes. an early investor in it before. When you think, though, about the value proposition long term, there are, there are uh, real questions about the long term value, questions around dilution, for example. What sure. do you think of those? What do you think of those issues? Yeah, well, I think, I think listen, dilution was definitely, with, with stock compensation, was definitely a big deal uh, in the early stages when the company came public through direct listing. I think those questions and and you know have have dissipated since. I mean, look, this company has always been, uh, you know, a a very provocative company. It's and and I would I would venture to say it's always been a misunderstood company over the years. Um, I've I've been an investor since 2014. I continue to be an investor, uh, and the reason what what attracted me initially to Palantir is, you know, their their product, their technology, their software. It's it's it, right. it, you you'd be hard pressed to find another company out there that could deliver the software they could deliver in the format they could deliver to. When they first came public, the big issue was, you know, can they scale it? Is it just, you know, this dark ops company that deals with government? You know, can they, you know, can can they scale this product and can they sell it, uh, you know, commercially? And I think they've answered all those questions. You know, I, I think I think what, what Jim conflated was the investors that got behind Palantir and then the underlying company. You know, you, you can't chastise the underlying company for the type of investors that get behind it, right? Ro Ro Roger, yeah. we're, we're going to have to run. But we have a chart up. I don't know if you can see it. This stock sure. was trading uh, at $40, if not uh, almost $40, two years ago. It's at eight now. As an investment, what do you realistically think about this company? Call it if we had this conversation 12, 24 months sure. from today. Well, my, my, my window has always been five years okay. uh, from the time they came public. Uh, and I think management is always guided with a five-year plan. I think, you know, they, they've averaged close to 30% growth year on year since they've come public. They've turned profitable in the time frame they said they were going to. So I think the, the value proposition long term is tremendous for Palantir. I think it's a software that's critical that's solving the world's biggest problems. I think it's going to continue to be uh, a software that's at the forefront to solve those problems in both. You but know, is that in, a, I mean, 